We have two spring practices in the books, and yesterday's media focus was on the quarterback room. Jaden Delora, Will Plummer, Jordan McLeod, and quarterbacks coach Jimmy Doherty all spoke to the media after our second practice and after Pro Day 2022, where Will Plummer had the opportunity to take some snaps and throw some balls to the receivers. And here's what he had to say about the experience. I, obviously, you get out, you get out there, and it's like you're in front of I don't know, 28 or 30 NFL scouts there, and uh, that's what you want to do, though. So I mean, so yeah, naturally. The first couple snaps, like, oh, damn, here we go. But then after that, it's just football, and we were, we were running routes like we, like we were uh, in the past. Will also spoke highly of some of the newcomers to this team, and he expects to see big things from all of them as spring ball continues. The freshmen, they, they came in, and they're ready to play. Uh, they, they were ready. They came here, and they're, they're trying to get on the field as well. So um, all, of our, all the guys that have came in have made plays already in practice. Two days, um, Noah's made plays, T-Mac's made plays, Kean's made plays, like, on offensive side anyway. And then defense, that's not really not really my forte as much, but they're 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 hungry too. They're always trying to work, they're always trying to pick people's brains, ask questions. They don't they're not sure on something, they'll they're not gonna hesitate to ask you, hey, how do I how do I do this? How do I do that? So um, they've been they've been really good though. They've been outgoing, they've been friendly and uh, definitely a good class. Jaden Delora also joined in on singing the praises of the new guys and the receivers as a whole, and he summed them up in one word. Amazing. I mean, obviously it's we got height on the outside, we got guys who can run on the inside, and then we just got freak athletes all over. So, I mean, I um, can't wait to sling it all over. Coach Doherty is really excited about the quarterback room as a whole, and he touched on newcomer Noah Fafita, and here's what he had to say about him. It really should be in the hot lunch line right now in high school, you know, so to speak. So, uh, kids just got a, a cool way about it. You know, nothing really bothers him. He's pretty unflappable out here, really impressed with him. And, it's what we thought we were getting, you know, and then it's, it's really refreshing to now be out here with him and, and see it. You know, it is what it is. You know, it's, it's exactly what we thought it was. So um, kids doing a great job for us. Really excited about them. One of the best things about spring ball is the competition aspect in each position. And all of our quarterbacks know that they have to have that mentality going into each and every practice. You, you got to understand every year, it's, it's quarterbacks are pretty much a cycle nowadays in college football. Um, you're gonna have some guys go, some guys leave, and you gotta kind of embrace that though. Every year there's gonna be between six, seven, eight guys on the roster, and uh, whether it's a new six, seven, eight guys or the same ones from the last year, it's, it's the same principle, so you gotta come to work with the same mentality every day. You know, I think it's a credit to Jaden. You know, it's a credit to Jaden and you know, how he's, he's been around the team. Um, he's come in with, with no ego, no arrogance to him, just kind of a workmanlike attitude, and I'm just gonna earn the respect of my teammates and let it happen naturally, you know? Um, and, and to the guys' credit that have been here, the understanding that it's a competition and the best guy is going to play. It doesn't matter who that guy might be. And, and they've, they've all kind of done a great job so far of just kind of embracing it. And, and you know, like we tell them, I mean, make the most of your reps. You know, you got to make the most of them. And I know Coach has already made the comments that we're not going to let this thing go forever. You know, we're not going to let this thing drag out more than it needs to. Uh, we'd like to make a decision fairly quickly and, and go from there. Jordan McLeod also talked about how all of the quarterbacks are supporting one another and he touched on his recovery from that freak injury in the UCLA game last year and how he processed all of it. We all um, help each other so um, they're doing pretty good. They're understanding the offense and in the meeting room and on the field we're helping each other out. Um, at first it was tough but I'm big on my faith and I knew God had a plan for me and you know so it, maybe it was to learn some or sit back to some worse could happen you know so at the end of the day I'm just grateful to be where I'm at right now. And don't worry, Jordan also talked about one of the most important things, why he cut his hair. Yeah, I did cut my hair. When did, when did that happen and why? I uh, cut it before we had to come back from winter break, and I just wanted a fresh start, cut my hair off. And when they were asked about how all of the quarterbacks get along, well, Jaden Delora's smile says it all. Um, it's great. I mean, we all have our little inside jokes with each other, but I feel like that's what makes it fun. And then, you know, it's not toxic, you know. Everybody got their own little mojo, like how they walk around and stuff. But I mean, when we're together, it's like a family, so 